Because the first one is going to be pointless because my support decided to leave my lane minute two, so I was just alone, so nothing to see okay. there. I see, I see. Okay, okay tell me what, what do you see here? Like, what do we what do we see? What's going on? Uh, I mean, the team comps are actually kind of okay, except I'm worried about top lane, but I mean, that's an island anyway, so mm -hmm. whatever. Okay. Uh, bot lane, uh, I, okay, so for me, I just want to say I haven't played that many games versus Smolder, but I do know from what I did play versus him, like, he's pretty annoying early game. He has good wave clear, mm -hmm. he has, like, fucking long range poke, which is annoying as fuck. Mm -hmm. But if we get a good engage, we can probably fight them, especially if he wasted an ability before or two. Okay, good. What else? I mean, we have, we both have combat summoners. I have Ghost, which is more for late game, I guess. Mm -hmm. He has heal, which doesn't really matter when he uses it. Mm -hmm. The supports both have ignite. If Brand stuns me, I'm kind of fucked, but whatever. No, you mean Bard, right? Oh, Bard, yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so, mm -hmm. Go on. So I would, I would basically just like... I will fight early if it's free, but I would wait for six and mm -hmm. then just kill them. Okay, so how I see it is, like, everything you said so far is correct. Like, this guy is annoying because he goes D-ring and Comet, so his wave clear is insane and his poke is insane. Like, every W will deal, like, 120 damage for you. On you. Yeah. And also, yeah. When we look at the supports, like, there's a common theme we have here. Brand, he's a poke champion, right? And Bard, he's a roaming champion. He wants to roam. So Bard, naturally, he wants to push the wave and then roam. So you have to deny this. And the Brand, he wants you to push the wave so he can poke. So if you want to enable yeah. your support and deny the enemy support, the you know being enabled, you should push the wave. Like this is how I see it. You should push hard as hard as you can, so you lock Bard under turret, so he's useless. He cannot do anything. And if he yeah, goes... I I agree, but I I just think I mean you're gonna see how the lane goes. Like I I always when I play versus smaller I guess maybe it's because I don't know the champion that mm -hmm. much yet because it's new. Uh, I also don't know all his abilities, like which one is which. I know what they do, I just don't know which one is which. Okay. So, um, basically, I'm just kind of playing safe until like level 4 or 5. So, yeah, I'm not really pushing the wave like in early 3 or 4 levels, but then I probably will be. So. Okay, since you don't know about Smolder that much, I'm going like, to give you a quick wrap up. Look at the HP numbers, he has 6, 7, 5. And if you yeah, I have way Twitch, more base HP than yeah. he does. Yeah. You have like uh, entire Ruby Crystal and, you know, a little bit more. And if yeah. you, uh, this champion, his Q is the pointy click ability, just like, you know, his auto attack, but his auto attack is on the Q. The W is the bubble he throws. The E is like when he flies. And the ultimate, okay. you know, when he like does Pantheon ult on the ground. And yeah, it heals yeah, him. yeah. Okay. Um, what else? So like, and uh, just judging by the numbers, and this is a scaling champion, I, I don't think you should be afraid of him, but I understand it because you did not, um, you did not play against him quite enough. And it makes sense. Why are we st standing yeah, still? It's pr uh, yeah, don't worry. Like the first four minutes or five, you're like, you're actually gonna farm me because of CSing as well and stuff. I was talking to a lot of my friends in Discord, okay. uh, explaining some stuff to them uh, about another game. So I was kind of even more on autopilot. Like I, you know, I didn't even like focus. I mean, it's fine. Okay. All in all, uh, usually you wanna either stand here or here. So you can yeah. like, uh, cover. If you arrive quickly enough, you stand here or you stand here. So you can just yeah, cover. Yeah. Anyways. Um, okay, you're starting Q so you can put the word. So, okay. Okay, wh what does this word give us here? Tell me. I mean, I wanted to see one, if they were there. Two, when they come to lane. And three, if they like, let's say they split up for some reason. I don't know what. Like if somebody goes through the river, somebody goes around, we can engage on the person on the river. That's oh, okay. So you have a plan for this. So, uh, okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. I just want to understand, like, why are you doing this? I mean, it doesn't matter like, yeah. the reason. It's just, you know, the why. Okay. So like another like problem here, as we said, if you understand the matchup correctly, you have to push. So leashing is bad. You should just be in lane and pushing and, you know, they're... Yeah, I know, but like, I'm I'm still in plat, like, I'm not really high low, so people just are like, Oh, you didn't leash me, I'm not gonna gank bot lane, like, you know, you know. I mean, you, could, you could try, because <laughs> you could try to ask, because this is gonna lose you so many games. Imagine you're versus Israel Karma and you leash. Yeah, it's I'm just gonna so get bad. cheesed in the bush level one. Yeah, exactly, I mean, I, I can yeah. see it, because it, it's so good for them to do this. 
Like here, this is why you're gonna see I went so far up because I I thought they were in the bush, so I would just let the brand tank it and <laughs> it happened the exact thing. Yeah, you know? Sacrificial lamb. Okay. Oh, here I cancelled an auto like a monkey. No, it's okay. Yeah. Man. The I I don't really uh, care about the mechanical things because they're just habits. It's just uh, this yeah. spell is what I hate. Like it yeah. has so much range and. Okay. Yeah. This spell is actually slow, but I know it's annoying to indulging. Just make sure you don't stand on the wave. Like the wave, I mean, you should be here. So it's either you or the wave. If he chooses you, yeah, he doesn't yeah. get to, like get to push. But you, like, you get him. Like, you give him both. You and the wave. So you how see? I think about this basically is just. Uh... Mm -hmm. I want to make it harder for Bard to hit a Q on me, because if I'm in the minions, I can just step like two steps back and the Q is going to go through minions, like in two of them, and then it can't hit me, you know? I mean, yeah, but you could play like somewhere here, and, you know, at least you I mean, you're going to just be under one threat, which is like the Bard Q, not the Bard Q and smaller W. Yeah. Or you yeah. can just, you know, st stand here, where you avoid both. So... Like ideally, whenever you, the, yeah. the support is here, you wanna be here, and vice versa. So look, for example, Smolder is here, Brand is here. You are diagonal with uh, with the enemy support in most scenarios, and this is like what happens usually in mid lane. Like they're always diagonal. Look, up, down, down, up. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm I'm trying to do that. Okay, good. As uh, much another as thing, I can. just in bot lane, generally speaking, when you are being pushed out, it's always good to ward here. So yeah, you... yeah, that I know. Okay, good. But I don't have a word with it, so... Yeah, I know, but just but... as a, a side note. Yeah. Oh my lord. But yeah, look, even if he, it hits you, he doesn't get to push the wave, which is also good. Yeah, you're gonna see, like, this early game, we're basically just trying to CS as much as we can and mm -hmm. just play it safe, but then... Uh... Like as I told you before, I don't I don't really know like the limits of Smolder and how strong he is at certain points. So mm -hmm. I just like want to play it safe until I know I can fight. You know. I understand, but just you know, so for your information, Smolder is really weak unless he has a good support with him. So the champion is weak unless he has like, something like Trish or Leona that they can do everything and then he collects the kill. I see. Okay. Yeah, so you can just run him down. Yeah, yeah. This is probably my bad. I just like don't know enough about this no, champion it's, it's fine. to like want to engage him like straight up. Yeah, all you need just to dodge the bar, the Q, and you're fine. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, don't yeah. don't even ask, man. Like yeah, I was fine. still talking to my friends here. That's why I'm wi I'm missing so much CS also. Yeah, it's okay. So far, your CS is not bad though. Okay, let's see. With what you yeah, are giving. Yeah, here I didn't even see the Lilia. Don't. Yeah, I I was blind. I was blind. I die here. Yeah. I mean, I, I know I you know I this. I didn't even just... want to flash because I knew I was dead. Yeah, flashing is really bad, by the way. Because you're dead anyways. And another thing to mention, just if you want to like take it to the next level, always think about the timers. You need the Vigen at 3.30 and the Vigen at 2.30. Yeah, because, yeah. Uh, they gank at these timers. So it's always good to have Vigen on these two. Okay, what else? Okay, what do you buy? What are your runes, by the way? Let me see. Okay, future market. Yeah, I love this. Okay. And boots. I yeah, can boots. explain to you later why. But, I understand uh, boots because you want to rush Bork, so you don't want to delay anything. And you want to get the boots right after the Bork, so you have, can have it, I think. And also, like, yes. it gives you extra movement speed, which synergizes really well with the zeal. And, yeah. Uh, I do have another reason for going those runes, actually, if you want to pause okay. for a second. Yeah, so why I want to go boots and futures market, both of them, mm -hmm. is because... <clears throat> I noticed this previous season also, and this season it's even more impactful. Like, sure, the stronger you are, the more items you have, and like, y you know, the more fat you are, you're just gonna kill people with those <laughs> items. But what I figure out always is, well, you're always the strongest with Twitch when you get full build, yeah? Yes. So I'm just trying to get there faster. Like, if I can save some gold, even if it's some little gold, I'm gonna do it. So, like, 300 gold from these boots saves me 300 gold. That's one kill. Then Futures Market in late game gives you, like, 350 gold to buy an item. So that's 650 gold that I'm saving. Yes. You know, this is my point of view. Like, I just want to get to my items mm -hmm. as fast as I can. I mean, I agree, and also, like, another point, since it gives, like, 10 movement speed extra, it synergizes really well with the zeal, because it's a percentage movement speed. Yeah, yeah. Also, 
movement speed is the most broken stat, especially on any carries. And if you think about it more, it also synergizes with the ghost. So yeah, yeah. Movement team, movement that's what team I team. said before. Like we both have common uh, combat summoners, like both bot laners. But the thing is, like she has more for early game, or he's smaller, and I like ghost late game is just broken. Exactly. So, yep. So, so like yeah. this makes a lot of sense. All right. So you know the usual. Okay. Now here, I was so mad he didn't kill him. Okay. Like, I don't know how he didn't kill him. Look at this fight. Yeah, uh, okay, okay. Look, look here. Um, always, this is a, just a routine. Uh, I mean, you probably do it on top, but yeah. Uh, before you look, look at this wave, okay? And then think. Yeah. Can I push it in time or no? You mean in time before next wave arrives, right? So, at I mean, level obviously. 3, you're not going to be able to shove it. And look, I mean, because you don't have enough damage. The wave is going to freeze here. Okay. Right. Uh, it crashed. No. It's frozen. There's only yeah no 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 but like let me tell you something. Okay, go ahead. Which you probably don't know. Mm -hmm. So like go 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 back to the okay yeah 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 this is fine this is fine yeah wait 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 uh, yeah yeah you can you can you can let the all the millions die it's okay. fine. Okay. Okay. So if the wave is this close, this is very close to the tower, even uh -huh. though the tower is not hitting it, yeah. Mm -hmm. You need four casters, not three. This is this would this this would bounce back. Oh, okay, if you knew that, sure. But it's just I want to establish the routine of looking at next wave, then you know shoving the wave. If so you... okay, my thought process here was actually I didn't look at the wave, so mm -hmm. like I I only looked at it now in the replay. Mm -hmm. But it, so now now I know it would bounce back. But my thought process was also like Smolder's coming back. Uh, Smolder's coming back. He's gonna push the wave anyway, so I can just. No, but why I would he right push now. the wave? Here's the question, and my, my point is not this. Imagine if you went there, okay? Let's say that it did not, like, uh, get this close. The, yeah. uh, you know, uh, you went there, something went wrong, you had to recall, and now Smolder has a freeze on you. Because you just did not, sh uh, like, shove it properly. Or you... So, what okay, I would okay, do let here... Okay, let me explain here. So, like, Go ahead. I knew... I knew the wave was gonna get close enough to the tower that it would bounce back eventually, even if the smaller doesn't want to push it. Okay. But oh. like, I I knew that he was a plat player, so I knew that he's gonna hit the wave anyway. Like that's what I knew. For yeah, sure, but so. if you play against the plat player, you should be better than him. Like you don't play like as if he's plat. You play as if you know you're the best theory. Yeah. So th th it's just the routine. I don't care about the scenario itself. It's just the routine of you know perfecting your wave. Yeah. Also, if you're thinking why I'm. Like trying to clear the wave right now is because I want to back. Yeah, I mean, so. I can't tell because you don't want to have really stacked wave here when you back. And I, yeah, I mean, it's just a cannon. And if I can clear it, he's going to take 10 years to clear it, so I can just back. You know? Yeah, yeah. But the issue is, like, you need to have a track of bar because if he, he comes here when. I, you... I do, I know. Like, I, I thought he would come back to the bot lane before, but I saw he went straight up, like, a long way into his jungle, so I figured he was gonna back anyway. No, so. oh, okay. Okay, I mean, good enough. I mean, for me, if you, uh, if I were to ask, like, uh, how to manage the wave, just you know, just uh, push as uh, I mean, push whenever you can push. Like that's the simplest way, as you just said. You just push the wave and recall, because you you can have more growth. Why would you go? Okay, I I know because it's poke, but isn't uh, pickaxe better if you wanna like all in? If you're planning to all in. Because it's 25 damage, you mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, pickaxe is better for all ins, but I want this just because, like, if we have long extended fights with little tempo, I actually heal a little bit, so, like, okay. I can I can survive more, I guess. Oh, okay, sure, sure. Sure, you're, play, you're playing into the item, I see. Yeah, that was nice, you followed immediately. Like, if you look at that fight, that fight was actually pretty interesting, if you go back and slow okay. it down a little bit. Okay, sure. So look at this. So okay, we we focus on Smolder, He goes away. Then I go on Lilia. Like basically, my point here was I'm gonna kill whoever I can, and then like if they are all afraid of me, I'm gonna kill Lilia so she she can't take the dragon. Like this fight was pretty interesting mm -hmm. actually. I mean yeah, I mean okay, l l let's think about it once again. Okay. Okay. If we see here, as as an ADC, usually you want to front to back, like so. You this is correct. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm attacking the first target, then yeah. the second one that's available, then this yeah, guy okay, goes yeah. away, then I'm gonna kill Ilya. So yeah. like, you know, 
It's just the last click when you clicked backward. I think you were anticipating a Lilia W. That's why you clicked backward. But all in all, I would just click forward just to, uh, to be as close as possible to her. Uh, and, yeah, so my my thought process here was just like, there's still three people around me, so I don't want to take free damage. So if he if she Qs me or Ws me, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, um, yeah, the fight was nice, though. Like, the decision-making, the movement, uh, the kite, all in all, it was good. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you, I think like, you're just, you know, securing Pryo for the dragon. You know, you found the Pryo, at least. Yeah, I mean, Bard is mid lane, like, she's bot lane, who's gonna contest it if Lilia's dead, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are we looking for here? Just a small trade, so maybe she gets a bad back. No, but isn't the recall... Oh, you don't have... Oh, because you have gold, because you had a kill. But yeah, you have to stay now, because nothing for you in base. I think like, your next uh, so should here, be mm -hmm. Like this is I'm I'm doing this a lot actually. Like okay. when I have two components for a Bork, if I see like I'm I'm kind of full HP right now. Like if I see I can, I'm gonna stay until full full item. I mean, sure, I would say like you can do that, but I think um, you could recall on eight seven five when you have a good recall. If you don't have a good recall, just wait until the full item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that yeah, that's like correct. If I have a really good recall, I mm -hmm. I could just recall for pickaxe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this this guy is just dumb. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Look at Lilia thinking. <laughs> yeah, this is. Oh my okay. god. Why are you clicking backward though? Okay, finally. You should dive this guy, no? Maybe he's just gonna fly away. No, but you kill him. And Bard is. No, oh, Bard is here. Or Bard Brand, my bad. Like he was clearing the wall. Oh no, you should have pinged him to dive immediately once you shoved the wave. Like this is illegal. Oh my god, what happened? But it... do you do you actually think we kill that? Because for me, I don't know. Yeah, hundred percent you do. Hundred percent you do. Okay. Because you had your ult, so you can you know you can just okay. What what would I do here is I would walk in, stand here, ult. I would like tank the autos, let the Brand like maybe even if he takes the kill, I don't care. I, and then leave. I would take the aggro so because I have. Yeah, I just I just didn't want to risk it because for me, like I know this champion flies away. I know this champion has flash. Like I I just didn't want to like die. No, I mean you know? I would punish him because it, once you're shoving like this cannon, it's just and you have your jungler here, so like not this wave. I mean wait, it was this wave, yeah. So look at it again. So instead of this guy going here, you should ping him. Come 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 because we already have the jungler right here, so you can just run him down. You yeah. just, I mean, even if you like, uh, okay, you don't want to like start the fight here. You start the fight here. You hit him. You just walk in and then you start hitting him, and he he either walks into to brand or walks out for you. Like worst case scenario is him using flash. So you could just uh, perfect it here and kill him, or at least get his flash for free. You just you you should punish him. Like in a one v two scenario, uh, he should not be able to farm. Yeah. So yeah, the typical like you you want to like push. Okay. All right. Yeah, good. Not wasting time. See, this is not bad. Okay. So first thing I would do here, I would I would be looking like at mid lane and considering going mid lane if I can, with the Q and yeah, and another like yeah, I mean you, I can. You should stand like, like here. Mid lane anyway. You have like Wait, this, for what? This, yeah, you, you can stand here for oh. the heal. Yeah, you, there's like extra yeah. space here. You can heal, but you can't buy. So like you save yourself extra clicks, and just consider going mid lane. You don't have to. You could like you know think about going mid lane if you can, and then you go back. Yeah. Back. And at the same time, you look. I at mean, I was lane. just thinking like Echo's mid lane. He's full HP, so he can hold that wave. So I need to go bot lane because there's two people bot lane. Yeah, and they're shoving anyway. the wave. So it's just the thought yeah. process of considering going mid lane. It's good on Twitch, because it gives you a lot. Yeah, I do go mid lane quite a few times. I don't know if this game, but some games I do. Yeah, it's so good. I mean, especially sometimes at level 2, I would go mid lane just to kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I go early game. Like, if I can't do anything bot lane, I just go correct a free kill on mid. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Like, if you, like, uh, push two waves and stuff, just go there. Okay, um, we're pushing this. Now, you know, clear vision. You should move in with him, yeah? Good. Oh no, oh no. This is bad. Okay, they're trolling anyway. 
Wait, okay, you did get Lilia ulted, yeah, but she doesn't have damage for you. Okay, where did, oh, Smolder is not with them, I see. He did the mom. Okay, wait, you dodge it? Nice. Okay, you're not clicking enough, by the way. Like, you stood still for a bit. Uh, I just wanted to stay in range to get five stacks with ultas and then E. So I get another kill. <laughs> yeah, but ideally you want to move as much as you can on as an ADC. Look here. Like, you altered this, you altered again. So, yeah. You could, like, uh, yeah. move a little bit. It's just the habit of moving. Okay, um, what do we have here? Like, while, while re you were recalling here, you should be pinging your I'm, brand. I'm and... 200 HP, bro. <laughs> I don't know. You should be pinging your brand to hand to stop the wave. Yeah, if, if you can, like, communicate with him. He just, he has to stop the wave. And, yeah. Oh, wait, stop our wave? Yeah, yeah, if he can, like, freeze the wave, stop it here or something. He can pull it. Oh, yeah. It. yeah. I mean, like, he probably won't. He, he would die. Like... Yeah, I mean, if he could, if he could. Yeah. And here I would probably, I would, I would use Ghost here, Q and Ghost for it to reach the wave, because you're going to lose this entirely. Uh, I would, <laughs> if this guy was not in lane, but I'm fine with actually giving solo X oh, yeah, sure, my sure. lane, both, so we're both, you know, like, kind of hmm. at... I mean, this is this is the exact thing that came to my mind, like, but wait, Brand was taking the wave, so what's the point? Yeah, but yeah. Alright. So what are we looking at right now? We just want to push, push. I mean, I'm ahead as fuck. I just want to clear this and then we can fight. Yeah, I mean, I, I would try to hit the turret right now. Like, you can hit it a little bit. Oh, no, you can't. Yeah, because the brand is leaving. Why didn't we take this? I, think you... I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> wait, wait, let me see. You are red. Did you see Bard? Okay, you don't see bar. Okay, makes sense. Because if you saw bar here, it's just better to take it because you have nothing to do. Yeah, with. I mean, when you have all the vision on, it's kind of different when yeah. you see everybody. <laughs> no, it's, it's better to be this way. So we can judge. Okay. Um. So yeah. So here I would be anticipating barred portal, by the way, from here. So you, you get ready for it. Yeah, that's why I'm standing next to the yeah. bush. Yeah. If I need to run away. So yeah, you expect here to be like the gang, and yeah, I would not look for this. And listen, I mean, I she's that. tanking the way for no reason. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, maybe she's baiting, right? Because Bard could be here. We were talking about this. Like, okay, it makes no sense for you to stand here if you go in now. That's the point. Yeah. Okay. So, what I think here, if you go back a little bit, mm -hmm. I think if she was baiting here. She would walk more to the yellow flag over there, like try to pull it more to the bush. So she would be still safer to like have uh, less uh, less add to walk to the tower. No, but, but she just it... like wanted to pull the wave away. Like that's basically in thing. And now she loses half HP for no, no but reason. The, I mean, baiting is just being stupid. So it doesn't it doesn't have to be a specific thing. I guess. But do you know, like, if you pause for a second, sure. Like you probably are gonna understand this, but. You know, like us as kind of like players who have played this game for a long time and mm -hmm. we do consider us pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like you can basically tell from how the person is moving if either, I don't know, you're being ganked or whatever, you yeah, know. Sure, so, sure. I mean, so like I just I just knew here that she was basically trolling. I mean trying to it's like put away game no sense. Reason. Yeah, yeah. I understand, but yeah, it's just, you know, um, when I think about it, like, we thought that, you know, we're standing here because Bard is here, and then we're going in because, you know, her movement, I mean, it makes sense that, you know, you have a good game sense that could, like, let you detect, but uh, in other cases, you, you die here, I think. Yeah, 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 like, obviously, yeah. if Bard is there with Portal, I, I would be fucked, I would need to flash. Yeah, and probably more than flashing because he's gonna have, like, the ult and stuff. Okay, good, you're cheesing, because you have your team here, so so far this is good. Yeah, I mean, we have Pryo in Drake fight right now, so... Yeah, you you found the Pryo. Props on you. So I might look for some, yep. like, cheesy stuff now, like, you know, I would go over, like, I would go over like this, sit here, if Smolder comes, I will kill him. Because he's now uh, too behind compared yeah. to you. 
I would try to cheese. I kind of trolled here if you go back a few seconds. I, w I really wanted this plate, but for some reason my brain was just like, let's poke Bard and I attacked him with poison <laughs> yeah, so I can't hit the fucking exactly, down. Exactly, exactly, exactly. This is like the shittiest thing about Twitch. Once you auto your opponent, you cannot go under threat. Yeah, so now I have to wait, but I still get the plate anyways. Oh my god, yeah. It's just now, like, the thought process should be wait. You should be aware that Bard could ult you and then Lilia could come, by the way. Like, this is what, what I'm thinking. And with Molder, yeah. Time, you should be ready Here, what this. I think is, like, I see Brand over there, like, hovering. They have no vision there since he's standing there for 10 years. So I, I'm fairly confident we win a 2v3 anyway. Yeah, but are you, you, know? are you ready for the Bard ult? That's what I'm thinking. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, let's see this again. Okay. So what I'm saying is, yeah, I know your brand is here, but what if Lilia is coming from lane plus Smolder and Bard ults you? You're doomed. So are you are you prepared, for example, to flash it or to ghost out of it? This is like my question. Are you mentally prepared? I mean, I think we win 2 or 3 anyway, so yeah. Oh, sure, sure. If you think that, no problem. Okay, and look at this. Why would you like go in melee to Lilia? Uh, I I didn't want to go to Lilia. I wanted to, it like, as soon as Brand got, yeah, out of the ulti, I wanted to mm. kill him as well. But he went out of the vision through that portal, so I, I couldn't. He flashed as well, yeah. I mean, this is fine. I will take this any day. Wait, who got the shutdown? Because, like, Smolder loses another wave now. Yeah, Lilia got the shutdown. And it's a yeah. problematic because Lilia is a 1v9 champion. Yeah, Lilia's kind of strong. I hoped Bard would get it, but like I, I I'll still, I, I don't say it's Omega Ward because she got the shutdown, but mm -hmm. like Smolder is even more behind, so he's out of the game. Yeah, but the Smolder is not the one who's gonna carry this. Like, if there was, okay, look, you as a Twitch, you like shit on Smolder so much. Who, who's gonna be able to carry this is probably like Azir or Lilia. Yeah. Because yeah. Because they can destroy you, both of them. Right, so Smolder is a non-factor in my opinion in this game, especially like of how behind he is, and you know he has a Bard support. Okay, good. Now you dive him. You should walk in and dive or something because like there's no point to trade if you're just gonna give him the wave like that. Yeah, I always wanna first like before I go for any cheeky plays, I wanna mm -hmm. like place as much wards as I can so I know that like. Yeah, good. I mean you're playing the lane by yourself. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the the vision we're playing around is good because you have vision like almost everywhere, and yeah, the thought to process is also good because it's always better to like trade heavily than you you dive or look for a risky play. So you you did it perfectly, I would say. Okay. Let's see. Ah, so you're okay. Face shaking, but why did not? Yeah. Why, why did you? Why didn't you hit him there? Because I had no vision. I just knew somebody was in the bush. Let me just walk into it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I don't want to face check you. Know? Okay. I mean, so far it's all good. Now it's like maybe it's both of them, and then I would die if it's both of them. Let's see if you're gonna make the mistake. Okay, you didn't. Nice. Thank God. Because if you continue playing here, it's so bad. Okay, good. We killed this guy. <coughs> okay, good word. No, oh, I mean, so far so good. I'm just trying to deny as much resources as I can from the enemy team. If I can take the jungle oh. camp, I will. Why in the fuck are you here? Hello? Uh, Wait. I have no idea. You were I all tapping. All time, 100%. Like, you uh, took the rafters and the wave in mid. Like, who's gonna take this? Yeah, I don't know what I was doing, bro. bro. <laughs> this, I have no explanation for this, bro. Like, I have you no You played like Faker for, I don't know, 17 minutes and you randomly walk here. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I was probably changing my music or something. Yeah, it makes sense. Use the portals, though. Oh, I never use Hexic portals. I don't know why. It's just, I'm not used to it. Okay. Since they are, like, they're not a completely new addition to the game, but they are, you know, like, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. used to them. I mean, all thing here is a bit of an overkill, but no problem. I know, I know, I just wanted to steal the kill. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Okay. 
Okay, good. I mean, you, yeah, yeah. I mean, so far, so good. Okay, we push just this. Yeah, I don't know, like, like again, I don't know why Udyr is not bot lane, but I have to take this for, for him. I mean, yeah, I mean, since he went mid, you go bot, so just being flexible. Can you check the Krugs to see? Okay, push, push, push. I mean, it's, it's kind of lethal for you to be here. Yeah, that's yeah. why I walked back. <laughs> yeah, you walked back for the vision. Nice. Okay, what else do we have? You're going mid to take the wave. I mean, yeah, this is so good. You're just expanding your lead so much. That's like this type of gameplay is how you win games a lot. Because people, like other players, would be like flipping non stop because they're ahead. And at that point, you just lose. But what you're doing here is perfect. You're pushing, then taking camps. You're pushing, then, you know, looking for other lanes and stuff. Like, so this is what I teach them before we start the sessions because they don't do this. Like, they don't push, then hover or something. They don't push, then camps. They don't push yeah, like whenever I complete a certain objective or like uh, objective or wave or whatever, I just move on to the next thing. You yeah, know? exactly. This is like the, the basic League of Legends stuff that most people don't understand. Like you see, okay. I, I mean, I would call this a flip, honestly, because you don't know about anyone or anything. So I think you should have died. Okay, here. yeah, but if you go back, like, look, look how far ahead he is. Like, there is no way no, that but somebody the... reacts in two seconds. Like, look, look where he is, bro. He's in Narnia. Like, he should never be this far up. I mean, it's not true. with two towers gone. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Like, he shouldn't be this far up. But at the same time, like, Lilia could be with Bard here or something. You don't see anyone. You don't see anything. Like, you only see Brand here. That's the only vision you have. This yeah, yeah. Side I mean, if, if if needed, I can just move to bot side river, like with Brand. No, but uh, the idea is, Bard will ult here, so you can't escape and they they will run. Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, I kite like two two steps down and we'll, oh, flash over the raptors. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you'd have to use all sounds probably, and if they commit fully on you, you'd die. But the idea is wrong. I don't think it's correct to go for that play. Okay, I mean, you could... I don't know how I get hit by that, yeah. Yeah, you had to move you... one, one step forward. And even this fight, if we think about it... Like, yeah, okay. this was kind of trolling. I should wait for Lilia and just ult her first before Pard. I mean, sure. But the thing Then is, I would probably double kill. I don't mind this fight, to be honest, because we see one top, one bot, and, like, uh, one dead. So we, there's only two players. It's just yeah. that you had to play it, like... Cleaner. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it was kind of a flip, I agree. I mean, I don't think it's a flip, it's just you had to play it cleaner mechanically. Yeah, no, I, I think it's a flip because I have a shutdown, that's why. Like, okay. you know, I shouldn't be playing this aggro, I guess, but I just want kills. <laughs> okay, look. Um. Yeah, first you had to dodge this, like, this is like 100% dodge. It's yeah, I know. Okay. I, I was mad. I was mad at myself. It's just brother. your autos, like, you shouldn't, like, um auto move auto you can auto move a lot then auto again in such cases so i think like it's your it's your habit of auto move auto move auto move like the glide thing yeah it's just you need to yeah. move more within your autos in such cases it's just a habit you need to learn okay let's see i mean you probably know that we should be playing for this this and this like this is the yeah. objectives you have I mean, I just saw like they want to push mid with the Herald, so I was... Yeah, was you can there. pressure more. So this is good. Now you can play on the other lanes. You can push mid, then move. It's no big deal. Okay, you can fight him. Yeah, this is fine because, you know, he she, he should never have backup here. Okay, and usually I would not take this path, like, like this. Unless I know that no, nobody's here. I would like... I usually move like this. I do like look at the bot. Uh, look at the bot jungle. It's lit up like a Christmas yeah, tree. Yeah, bro. I know, I know. Like, it's... Yeah, I understand. I'm just telling, like, say, speaking in general, <clears throat> like the pathing like this is dangerous unless you have vision like you do here. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. Jungle bells, jungle bells. Okay. I mean, this is something really nice about your gameplay, by the way. The lead expansion is so good. Yeah, now you're looking for small door, hundred percent. 
Yeah, yeah I just see a free kill. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think it was the vision, right? Yeah, I yeah. didn't see him. Yeah, lucky. I mean, I might not commit with the flash, to be fair, because your flash worth way more than his flash. So here, uh, I can say the same thing I said to the TF yesterday. It's all about asserting dominance. You need to tell Smolder that he's not allowed to play the game. Yes. Okay, now you take frags. <laughs> okay. Okay, if I were to say something, it would be the, like the laning mainly. Like, other than the lane, you're doing really fine. It's just the lane. You should have, like, played more aggressively and you should have, like, asserted more dominance yeah, yeah. in laning. That's Sorry. completely my bad. It's just that, like, I, I'm not comfortable enough yet playing versus this champion. Yeah, I understand. It's just, you know, and also use your support as, as a tool to help you push the lane. So Brand could help you push a lot. And if yeah, Bob was WWE. good enough, if the boy was good enough, he would, like, push here, then go mid and kill your echo or something. And once this happens, you're kind of in a huge disadvantage because, you know, you are the lane that allowed the support to move and win the mid lane for enemy team. So yeah. it's just like, it's so bad. So yeah, if they played it like better than you in early, it's going to be harder than this. So now boys yeah. could like move here, at least burn a flash. And this guy will be mentally like disabled because of it. Because enemy board comes, uh, you know? So yeah, but the board yeah. has to stay here. So I mean, I, I agree with that completely. Mm -hmm. It's just that like, as I said, like five times before, I don't want to straight up hint because I don't know how, like the limits of small. Yeah, I know, you know? I know you said that. I, I'm just like explaining my point. Yeah. Yeah, it's just you need to like maybe understand the matchup more. But all other than that, it's like, um, I don't know. I mean, there's not much to say, to be fair. Can we watch this? What is this? You died where? Where did you die? I died before, like, already. When oh, the this one. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we go forward. We watched when you took this. Now, okay, now you're here. I think we watched this one too. Okay. Yeah. The flash. It's unnecessary, but I know, I know what you mean. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Wait, what happened? Yeah, here I okay, okay, go 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 back a little bit. Yeah, okay, now now this is fine, this is fine, this okay. is fine, but just just watch this. Like okay. uh, when I, I died here probably, I think. I, yeah, you I died did die. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm I'm just okay, first I, I like to look at the state we are in before anything, okay? So wait. Yeah. This guy's dead. This guy is not with us, this guy is not with us, and we have this guy only. So it's a 2v what? 2v, I don't know. How many? I mean, Lilia's dead, Bard is top lane. So it's a 2v2, yeah. I would say. Yeah, so here I wanted the tower. It's basically like why I'm here. So then top lane is the only lane left. So I died here for the tower. I, I knew I was going to die, but I wanted the tower. So here... I mean, is it w Wait one sec. Wait a few seconds. Okay, so here... Pause. Okay. You don't see the chat, but I told my team in the chat, I typed it like three times, reset, we go Baron after. Look what Echo does. I, I lost my mind, bro. I told my team, reset, we go Baron after. Look mm -hmm. at this guy. He... I, 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 I fucking can't, like... Okay, if he pushes this and recalls, it's fine. If he's not gonna recall, that's the problem. <laughs> okay. No, bro. Like, if he dies on this, it's so bad. Oh, yeah, but oh my god! I I literally told them in all chat. Recall, we go Baron. Yeah, bro. I mean, taking this is not bad though. But it's just you don't need to do it now because you have a timer. We can do it later after yeah. Baron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all of them are alive, so they can just walk and run you down. Oh, no, I have to wait before we go Baron. And Warwick started it solo, like, I, I was just losing my brain, so... Yeah, I mean, Azir is dead, so I don't think it's the worst idea, to be fair. Since Azir is down, you can just go, take it. 
because they have yeah we, we can do it we can do it i just like if the enemy team had any brain cells they would be here because they are all alive i mean they can look for a 4v4 but you know you're still in a, a huge advantage as well because their base is yeah there. okay what yeah. happened here let's see okay let me look at how you play it closely okay your build is fine yeah so some team fights here i played okay some i played like a monkey but it's whatever why would she do this? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking emote. <laughs> Bro, why would she do that? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I just not in the game. So what do you think? I mean, I think... Obviously, I did some mistakes early game because mm -hmm. I don't know the the matchup, and like yeah, you're a hundred and ten percent right about the bard, bard ultimate. Like I I should just move a little bit more. I was mad at myself that mm -hmm. I know I could have dodged it. Okay. Other than that, I do think my gameplay is okay. I just think that yeah, I do some. I don't know. Sometimes it just seems like I'm not even thinking about the game when I go on autopilot. But yeah. Okay. Uh, I would say, like, I, I... so far the gameplay is fine. It's just, um, okay. If they see his numbers, they should, like, go up. Since, like, the, the way you're playing, I don't, I, I don't expect it to be this much. It, it should be more. Because you're taking so much, so many resources. I don't know why it's this much only. I, I know, I know. I, like... I was about to say it, but, like, early game, I missed quite a few minions just because I was talking to 10 of the people in Discord, so, yeah. I don't think the early game... Like, early game, my, my CSing is terrible. Here, I, I could have more. It's I not have that like bad. 75. Like, you could have, like... I mean, I don't think your CS is bad in early game. Look, in 9 minutes, having 75 is not bad, by the way. Yeah, yeah I, I know, but I could have more, I think. I mean, you sure you could have more, but this is like so far not bad. It's like you have like 8.4 right now. You yeah. could increase and it later on just by not missing Also, anything. Also, probably, when you know when you asked like when Brand uh, was collecting that wave and I went back, I lost like two full waves to the tower. Cause yeah, I, mean, I think it's this wave, yeah. Yeah. Look, this is why I wanted to use Ghost or something just to not lose it and try to ask him to pull it or something. Yeah, I, I just wanted to like Give hear it if... If yeah, if he was not in lane, I would queue ghost. But like he mm, is, so yeah. like why not give him the free XP and go yeah, sure, anyway? Sure. sure. But I mean, yeah. So far. Because he's mean... he's a mage support, you know. If he would be playing something like I don't know a fucking Nami, why would he take the wave? It's yeah, actually kind of hard to last hit with Nami. But like, if his brand, he's building AP anyway. You know, mm -hmm. I don't really care to be honest. Okay, let's look here. Yeah, it's an, this this incident as well. Like it costed you like some <laughs> CS. <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't even, yeah, I don't know what's my problem here. Yeah, I mean, like here you're gonna be behind, I don't know, maybe seven or eight minions because of this. Or, or maybe more, maybe yeah. two waves, I think two waves you lose. Because look, you're doing nothing. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing here. <laughs> yeah, you probably like, lose like, the, I don't know, 13 minions or to 20 minions because of this play. So yeah, the, uh, the, uh, like here, here we understand where the CS has uh, has went. Like Echo took the wave here, and you have nothing to take. And also the previous wave, like so six plus seven, just thirteen minions. And also add in the three waves, which are like I don't know, like wait, it's like uh, eighteen minions. So yeah, we know where the minions went. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I think yeah, it's just the the leaning. And here is the problem: you understand how to expand your lead, but let's. Like you need to know, like in all cases, how to get that lead first. So here, luckily enough, it worked out, and you you got the lead, so you expanded it, which is really good. But what if like the lane is really hard? Let's say Draven lane or something. So how do you do that? You know, so it's like the knowledge... I just like yeah. I mean, Draven lane is probably ten times easier for me than Smolder because I know my power spikes and mm -hmm. I know his power spikes. Okay. Like in Draven lane, I I almost like if my support is not a brain dead monkey, <laughs> I will always win a Draven lane because like yeah, I just I know the matchup so good. Like I, I go, I go, I don't know. Like if 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 I have a support who's also squishy, I go exhaust. If I have a support who can tank something or like a Lulu that can shield me and polymorph him, I go mm -hmm. I go ghost. And I just know that like when I'm six, 
I just win. Like, yeah. I just play safe until 6 and then I just space him and mm. it's over. I, I would recommend trying the, the ring with the two portions and then you can W E the wave. If the lane is so hard, generally speaking as Twitch, you can do that. It's not bad. Like, if it's a Lucian yeah. lane, for example, Lucian Milieu and you can't walk up, just W E the wave and that's it. Like, you, yeah, can, yeah. Like, you, can do the, you can do these things on Twitch. So I think, like, I don't have anything much more to say, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I just wanted... It's okay, like, it's fine. I just wanted to see if you have, like, some, you know, crucial things to point out about, like, what am I doing when I'm on autopilot? That's the only thing I wanted to see. Like, if you have some, like... Maybe... maybe oh, you did, like, a big game. mistake here, you know? <laughs> maybe if we play a harder game, it would be, like, easier, because... The, I mean, it's like... It's like you're playing versus people who you are better than, and you want to win, you can win. That's the issue, I feel like. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna have to wait a month to, for me to get, like, two diamonds, so... No, brother, you can do it quicker. I, I Yeah, I, do, I just don't... I, I won't play, like, Because the games issue is, is uh, the micro stuff... Like, for example, when you went on Azir... Yeah, I mean, you should have died, but since they're bad, you don't have to be punished. And since you don't get to be punished, like, you know, it's not... Yeah, like, but like, I, okay, so do you, do you actually think that, like, Azir can 1v1 me if I'm no. that fan? No, no, no. It's not Azir 1v1 you, it's like he has a backup because you're like you're close to him. Oh, you're talking about that mid lane fight where mm -hmm. he was overextended. I mean, sure, but yeah, like, like uh, he's not allowed to be there, that's illegal. Like, yeah, I, just I know, but to... what if he's there and he has backup? And also, it's the same goes to the smolder play. So the problem here is, like, since your opponents are not punishing you for your mistakes, like, it's hard to see, like, you know, w what's gonna happen. Like I, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you when Smolder was like tanking the wave, I expected Bard to come, but since Bard is like is not sh showing up, so Smolder was ending. So you know, it's, it's yeah. A mistake I mean, I, to... I I understand that completely, <laughs> like a hundred percent. I just want to say, like, in these games, like in the Elo I'm currently playing at, I would not agree with you. Just in the case that, like, as you can say, as you said, they're bad. They're making stupid mistakes. So like. If I can capitalize on them and just expand my lead that way and just get out of this hero faster, why wouldn't I? You know what I'm saying? I mean, sure, but how do you know they're making a mistake? They're not, like, you know, baiting you because you, you cannot but they're expect. Flat. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but you can't expect. This is the issue. Like, when I play an Emerald, like, you cannot expect your opponent, literally. Like, he's either Faker or Guma Yushi or he's, like, Oompa Loompa. It's just... Yeah, 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 I know. Anyways, um, I'm going to stop recording.